A real challenge is, is honing in on a research question. Um, and so I'm still not sure we've uh, gotten to a very sort of refined way. Um, and so sometimes we would, we would instead opt for um, a much sort of looser framework. The teachers of the planning team wanted to uh, think about student talk. I wanted to focus on student talk. It's not quite a research question. We couldn't quite push it towards the research question, but it was sort of enough of a frame around which to um, build the lesson and uh, have the discussion among the teachers in a debriefing. We struggle with that issue of research lesson, research question as well, um, because people really weren't used to framing their practice in that way um, as an investigation. I mean, they do it all the time, right? You teach a lesson, you're driving home from work and you're going, okay, why didn't that kid answer the question? I thought he knew it, or I asked this question, nobody got it, or you're lying awake at night. You're kind of doing it all the time, but you're not doing it systematically sometimes. Mm -hmm. You're not doing it with colleagues who bring other eyes to the table about it. And so, um, so they're not used to framing a research question the same way people who may be trained, you know, researchers are, or have gone through some teacher research training themselves. And so, um, we, people would ask questions start sometimes, not all the time, but like, can students read primary source documents? Well, yes, of course they can. That's, that's, that, that's not really a question that's been worth investigating. You might want to reframe it as, can we build instructional structures that will support students reading documents like a historian? Right? That's a, a question worth investigating. So we've kind of, ourselves, kind of played, you know, kind of, put out kind of guidelines for what makes a good research question and where it comes from. And so it, we've, we're making progress, but it's still messy. In some ways, the end product of lesson is the least important part of the process. What's the most important part of the process is the actual learning that happens that spills over into the rest of their practice. And what we have to do is when they finish the lesson, they actually write up an analysis of what happened, what they wanted to happen, what they thought happened, in using student work, say how successful the lesson or not, what they do to refine the lesson. That to us is the most important end product, not the lesson. In many ways, a sort of a you know pristine, refined, perfect lesson will be a very fortunate byproduct. What what's really important is is this process. Um, and we've had some questions in the panel today, or at least one question that seemed to sort of hint at how can we you know share perhaps on the web or or through some um, 2.0 application, how can we sort of share what's going on in lesson study? And my sort of knee-jerk reaction was, you really can't, you, it, it's, or what you can share that in that way is limited. The, what, what's really exciting is what happens in the room, and you have to be in the room at, when the teaching and learning is going on, and when the teacher discussion is going on, the professional debriefing where teachers say, okay, what did we just see? What happened? Did they learn it? Was it taught well? What have the students come away with?